Now with the topic of the day, I'm talking uh, about our 2008 uh, Benchland Select uh, Cabernet. Kind of what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit of the backstory or history about uh, our, our, our reserve Cabernet program. What makes Benchland special? Of course it's the site. As you can see that we're up slightly off the valley floor. So these are deep loam soils that came off the western hillsides, the Mayacamas range and uh, it allows for good drainage off the valley floor. And so the roots go very deep into the soils. So it takes minimal irrigation. We're also up against the base of the hills. And so when the sun sets on, on the west, you get a coolness off the hills from the trees to cool the fruit down in the summer evenings. So you get a just nice, uh, even maturity. You don't get these heat spikes uh, that you might get in other areas of the valley. And so this is what makes up against this base of the hills, what we call the benchlands, a uh, very, very special place. Uh, the other kind of secret ingredient that we have is Stephanie Jacobs, uh, who started out as our enologist 18 years ago now, uh, was assistant winemaker. She's now winemaker. She's been in charge of doing uh, red wine fermentations and fermentations off the hill ranch uh, for almost 18 years now. And so uh, she knows how to adjust, how to watch her fermentations, whether it's a warm year or a cool year, big crop, small crop. She has that experience of working with this fruit to be able to get that consistency in style of the benchlands of showing nice up forward fruit characters and nice balanced tannins with the fruit to make a truly elegant wine. These wines have always been 100% Cabernet, except for in 2002 that uh, uh, we blended about 14% Malbec from the winery into it, just to add some complexity. That vineyard uh, succumbed to virus very quickly, and so we went back to 100% Cabernet. And that's what we're tasting today is the 2008 uh, Benchland Select. What's interesting is 07 and 08 are great, great vintages. The difference is 07 was much more of a normal crop size. 08 was a very, very small crop uh, size. And so you get a little bit more concentration between the two vintages. Both are very, very good. Uh, but we think it shows off in this 08 to have nice concentrated fruit to it. 